I'm Santos Trejo. I was born 03 on April 14th. Oh, and happy late birthday. I live with uh, Alicia Lopez as a guardian. As a guardian, okay, awesome. Alicia Lopez. favorite song right now favorite song yeah that's super important come on you gotta um, give me something i don't know i wasn't expecting that i know nobody is i don't know not right now not off the top of my head okay artist artist song artist something that you vibe to you give me something that i can go home look up and i'll, I'll come back and i'll tell you if it's a banger or not i don't know what can i think of that right now what kind of genre any any genre. Just give me one. I'll it's about you. you. Do you like I like rap? all kinds, yeah. Do you like country? Do you like rock? Classic rock? Current rock? I don't know about that. Okay. Um, Molly Crew for rock. Motley Crew for rock? Okay. Oh, okay. All right. That's my band. Gives me a little insight about who you are. So you yeah, need to know. Were you involved in any activities or hobbies while you were here in school? Football. You did what? Football, basketball, and baseball. Football, basketball, and baseball. So you were really busy then. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. And did you do any like extracurriculars, like with um, Ag academics? Oh uh, no. No. Okay, that's cool. Which one of those was your favorite? Football. Which was? Football. Football. Why was football your favorite? Because I like to hit. You like to hit. Someone told me earlier that they like getting out their aggression, and I was like, the place to do it. Right. Yeah, that felt like that for you. Good place to just have an outlet. Basketball, you can't do that. No, <laughs> no, you get in trouble for that, don't mm -hmm. you? And what was your favorite class or subject while you were here? Throughout the whole year? Uh, mean, anytime. Anytime during your school. Uh, probably my rocketry class. Which is it? My rocketry class. I rocketry? Had. What is that? We had to build rockets and then we had to shoot them up every week. So we build a new rocket every week. Wow. And it'd be our grid. And then we learn about the rocket and the science behind it. That is so cool. It was hard, but. I bet that would be really fun. hard. So you did you did that in high school? Yeah, I did it my sophomore year actually. Dope rockets from scratch. Take it out to the football field and shoot them up. That's cool. Did they count that like as a science credit? Mm, I think they, I don't know what they did actually. I think it was a credit actually. Yeah. That sounds really cool. That probably would have been my favorite subject yeah. too. <laughs> it was hard though. Yeah, I bet. I bet. Did you do well in it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So do you think you'll build some rockets later? Yeah. No? But if I need to, I, I can. But if you need to, you like, I got this. Yep. <laughs> cool. All right. Who has been the most influential person thus far in your life? I don't know. I'd probably say Alicia Lopez and Andrew G. And your aunt Regina? Georgina. Georgina. Okay. Why have they influenced you so much? How have they helped you? They just, if you need something, like advice, then they're going to be there. Yeah. And like, even with the simple text, they'll just tell you. So they've been, they, they're good at guiding you. Yeah. And just, they have your back. Those are the people you can count on no matter what. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Doherty too. Mr. Doherty? Yeah. Mr. Doherty. Good guy. What does Mr. Doherty do? He would be a teacher, but more than just a teacher. Okay, how so? Because, like, during class, we'll do more than just the book. Discuss more, and more about the world, and more about everything else. And then you just learn from that, and you learn, you learn more every day in this class than I, I have learned in the past years. Really? He's a good teacher. That's really nice to hear, yeah. I, and you're not the first person that is, like praised him. He's a good guy. Yeah, I'm sure he's going to love hearing that. Um, so would you say that he would have been maybe your favorite teacher? Or is that yeah. too much to ask? Yeah, yeah definitely. Besides Miss Harris. Miss Harris is a good teacher too. So tell us about Miss Harris. She's straight up with you. Yeah? She's straight up with you. Okay, how? Like, if you're failing, she'll tell you for the whole class to come, come here and she'll help you. Yeah. Like, she'll help you. But if you fail, and like you don't, she don't see you like you're trying. She's not gonna help you. Right. She's straight up with you. So she, you put in the effort. She'll put in the effort. Match it. Oh yeah. And she's a good, she's a good teacher. That's great. What does she teach? Um, algebra one, algebra two, and geometry. I financial literacy. 
And financial literacy. Wow. So all the numbers. <laughs> yes. A lot nope. of work. You have to have a good teacher for those. Because if you miss something, you don't forget, or you don't learn it right the right way the first time, that's something that you never re recover. Right. So that's great that she's so good. Now, what is your favorite memory, a fond memory that you want to share with us about your years here at Clayton High School? Probably my um, Texaco High School basketball tournament. Your Texaco High School basketball tournament. What happened? Um, We just went out there and played, and then, like, we got us through the night, and then we just messed around at the hotel. We had Sonic, and then we just had fun, pretty much. Just stupid kids, just, just having fun. teenagers being teenagers right. on an away trip, and... Pretty fun. That's cool, yeah. Texaco is always a, a big rival, too, right? Mm -hmm. So, where did you guys stay? Oh, uh, Clovis. Some hotel next to a Sonic, so we're always going to Sonic. Yeah. Always. Oh. <laughs> just pop on over. How many days was it? Uh, we had a three-day tournament. Oh, dang. You guys were there for three whole days. We, yeah, we just stayed there two nights. Nice. So, what advice would you give to the eighth graders that are coming up into high school this year? You know that's nerve-wracking, a little scary, and you don't know what to expect. If they want to do sports, you got to stick with it. And then they have a good coach, Coda. Uh-huh. He's a good coach, and he knows how to work them out. He needs to pay me to listen. And just go out there and do what you want to do. Go out there and grab it. Get it. You got to work, though. You got to work hard. So it's not going to just come to mm -hmm. you. You have to earn it. All right. I like that. Very good. And what are your plans for next year? Like, you're graduating. Can you believe it? Mm -hmm. Like, that's it. You're done. Two more weeks. Two more weeks. And you're entering that big old world, finally. What are you going to do? I plan go to trade school in Albuquerque and uh, start my electrical environment. That is so cool. That You're also the second person that's going to be <laughs> doing that. That's a job that you're never going to run out of employment. That's amazing. We always need that. It's a good job. And that's exciting. So how long does it take to get that certificate? Two years. Three okay. to five. Dang. So do you get to do apprenticeship while yeah. you're yeah, there'll be a lot of those. That's great. So you'll be able to at least make money mm -hmm. while you're learning and then get your career going. Are you going to open your own business or what do you think you'll do with that? Uh, business, that would be far from now. Yeah. I don't know about that, but we'll see. Just work. Very a cool. Bit. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Would you like to leave a final word or a departing wish for... Clayton, the town of Clayton, or Clayton High School in general? It was fun. That's about it. It was fun. It was fun. All right. I appreciate you so much for coming in and doing this interview with me, and I'm so excited for you. I can't wait to see what you, what you do with this big opportunity you have, and man, just congratulations on graduating. We are very proud of you. Thank you. All right.